What's going on everybody? Iconic Wall here and I know I haven't done a commentary in a while. I have been pretty busy enjoying the hell out of GTA 5 and not really been playing too much of Battlefield. I play a little bit of Battlefield here or there, but this is the first time I've really gotten some gotten some decent footage or at least recorded to get footage and played for longer than like two or three games. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know that we are looking forward to the Battlefield 4 beta. It's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely going to be streaming it. I'm definitely going to be putting up a lot of footage as, as much as I can. I'm going to try to stream as much as I can as well. I uh, expect a lot of other people on the team as well to be putting up footage and, as of course, streaming as well. But the, the problem with this, and here's the problem I have, is that the GTA Online comes out the same day, and I'm kind of like split. I love Battlefield, don't get me wrong, and that's why I'm on this team. That's why I've done a lot of my footage, and a lot of my inspiration, a lot of my viewership, if you will, comes from Battlefield itself. And for me to kind of put the beta off to play something that I don't know if it's going to be good, I think it's going to be good, that, I don't know, it's kind of disconcerting, but it's in my mind. I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to play the beta, I'd rather play GTA Online. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of split between uh, what I want to do. I'm obviously going to do both, but I have a feeling that I'm going to enjoy myself more playing GTA Online than I am going to play the beta. I played the Battlefield 3 beta, and as fun as it was, it g drove me to the point where I wasn't sure if I was going to buy Battlefield 3. I was at that point where I was like, man, I hated the beta so much back then that I was like, I'm not going to buy this game. This game's, you know, complete shit, basically. And, you know, and then I gave it another shot and played it, and now I have 9,000 hours played, and, you know, I love it. So I don't, I have a bad feeling that I don't want to get to that point with the Battlefield 4 beta. Not that I'm saying I'm doing that. I don't want to sell it short yet. I've, I've only seen footage. I don't know what we're going to get. Uh, so I, I don't know, but... I'm definitely going to play it, I'm definitely going to stream it, definitely going to do a bunch of things with it. Uh, so expect that from this channel, and expect that from the guys in the stream. Uh, I apologize for not, I haven't been streaming in about a week, I've streamed a little bit of GTA, uh, and I've just been playing GTA, focusing a little bit on school, uh, and, and generally not really doing anything, and I I've, like, haven't put up any videos. Uh, the other thing too is, um, we're going to apologize for the, for the tournament basically, uh, we had a pretty good idea about the tournament, but basically I, I would say it's more or less on the, on the fault of myself that uh, I didn't really organize the brackets as well as they could have been organized. Uh, I know there was a lot of complaints about that. I still stand by how I feel about how the brackets were set. I think better teams should have gotten by the first round. I, I agree with that 100%. I'm not trying to put uh, people above others, but I mean, I, I think that that's how it should have worked. But unfortunately, I didn't really structure it enough or, or get into enough dialogue with enough of the team leaders to let them know that this is how things need to be done and, and when they need to play. It's not in the fault of the community. I would say it's more or less on my fault. I apologize for that. We apologize for that. In Battlefield 4, um, we are definitely going to try our, our damnedest to get another tournament out for you guys um, so that we can support the community like we've been planning to do. And uh, I think I think in Battlefield 4, we're going to do it like somewhere in the beginning, maybe middle, not, not at the end when there's not really a lot of motivation to play. And I, I think we realized that too late where, you know, we didn't play in it for a certain reason, but a lot of the teams that were in there had troubles getting their guys together. And there was, a, you know, scheduling issues that there's definitely solutions that this is a learning experience for us. And, you know, all of this has been a learning experience. And I think that with the next tournament, whenever we come out with it, we are going to uh, pretty much listen to you guys a lot more. Um, stay, I would say, less staunch on, basically, like, I mean, I sat there, came up with most of the rules, I, I had help, but I, I, I want to say that I was pretty staunch about how I felt about a lot of things, and, um, you know, I got a lot of shit for that, and it, which is fair, I mean, it's fine, but I think we're going to try to listen to community a little bit more, especially since we're not, we weren't playing in that tournament, um, you know, I, I think it would have been more fair for you guys if, you know, I, I kind of caved or we caved and said, look, this is what you guys want. It's your tournament. Because basically, it is your tournament. We're just kind of like throwing the money forth and, and just putting our time into organize it, that kind of thing. Um, so, and that, that does make sense. In, in the fairest sense, and I apologize for that. Uh, but so, just Battlefield 4, uh, definitely we're going to get something going. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll get it going somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the beginning, so that every all the good teams or all the new teams or whoever wants to play in it has the opportunity to play in it. And we'll definitely get that going. And then the, the other thing I want to talk about, and just for a little bit, um, this is like kind of spoiler alert from GTA 5, so if you haven't gotten to this part yet in GTA 5, you might just want to mute the stream or mute the commentary right now um, and just watch the rest of the gameplay, or you could just, you know, deuce out. But there is a certain point in GTA 5 where you're playing as an individual and there is a torture scene. And I've had a conversation with, us, with a lot of people, and I've seen a lot of information come out about this, and I've seen the media talk about this a lot. 
And basically what you do to this individual, it, it's pretty uncomfortable. I felt uncomfortable. I've talked to a lot of people that I that have played the game, um, that I've gotten to that part, and a lot of people in my friends group that, that also know about it and have GTA. And and there's, there's they're pretty mixed. A lot Some people just don't care. They say, oh, it's just part of the game. And then uh, a few people are like, well... It, it was. It felt made me feel uncomfortable, and I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I, I felt uncomfortable doing that too. And I think that it. It's the fact that you interact in in a scene like that. You. It's not. You're not. It's obviously not real. Like you know, it's something there. It's not real. But it. But if it makes you feel uncomfortable or kind of concerned with the point, I think that is what Rockstar is trying to do. I don't think that they're saying that torture is. You know, completely immoral. I mean, I think it is, but you know, like we shouldn't even be doing it. I think what their goal was with that scene was to inspire a dialogue, get people talking about it, kind of like saying, like, well, you know, maybe torture isn't the best thing. And a lot of the stuff in there is is obviously um, extreme. The waterboarding does occur in areas like Guantanamo Bay. Most of the stuff they do in Guantanamo, from what I've read and and what the media will tell us and what they'll tell us, of course is that uh, it's mostly sensory des- deprivation. So basically they'll, they'll put like a blindfold on and, and put like, they'll, they'll put white noise headphones on and just scream like blast music and blast like white noise in you. And that sc- screws with you. you know? But I think, I think what Rockstar was attempting to do was, was say that they are making a social commentary about the society around us. So, you know, GTA games have always been a parody and I think that it's a good thing that it's unskippable. It makes you see that. It makes you experience that if you, if you get that far in the game, because you can't like that's not something you you shouldn't have an opinion about. You know, it, it's not like uh, marijuana or or a woman's right to her body or anything like that. It's torture. It happens every day. You know, it's something that we should take a stance on and say, look, I agree with it. I don't agree with it. Whatever it is. Um, you know, all politics aside, I mean, I don't even think torture is, is political based. It's it's basically a moral or immoral issue depending on your background. And I think that uh, that we're at the point now where we can see games do that and, and in a sense get away with it is good because it, because there needs to be a dialogue about stuff like this, I think at least. And I, I think it's a great thing. I, I didn't enjoy doing it. Um, I know it was part of a game. I know it was, it was there for entertainment. I know there was an ulterior motive. And that ulterior motive uh, basically has been achieved for me. There's been a lot of YouTube videos about just this scene itself, much more in depth. And you know the the implications of such. So I, I think that uh, we stand to learn a lot from video games in the future, and I'm excited to see them. And I'm very excited for the Battlefield 4 beta and GTA Online. So I'll catch you guys all later. I appreciate you guys coming in. I'll have the link in the description below for our, our iconic crew. If you guys want to join us and get on with GTA Online, check it out. And that will pretty much do it for me. I'm out of here. I love you all. Peace. <laughs>